Llamas. Majestic. Mysterious. Furry beasts. Not to be mistaken with the common alpaca. We were told there were no such thing as llamas in New Zealand. But we caught wind that there was a possibility that we could encounter these magical beasts. So me and a few of my close friends decided to embark on a very long journey to find these llamas. And hopefully, on the way, find ourselves. So, the journey begins in Wellington, where the boys wake up early morning at around 10.45am for our 8.15am boat ride. On this boat ride we'll be taking a long and treacherous journey between the North and South Islands of New Zealand. Recommendations uh, on the food that we had for uh, lunch? Thanks for some sauce. Very good. Very good. Yeah. How's, the, how's the boat ride been so far, Arnold? Pretty nice, actually. Yeah. Very bright. Very bright, yes. Yeah. No. But uh, it's been calm for you? Yeah, it's been settled up a little bit. Shaky. But under a feet. And fresh air. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, here's the young Wasim. Uh, how has it been just being the alpha male on the boat? Uh, <coughs> apparently, I'm Andrew Tate and I don't like that. What color is your brigade? I'm not happy. <laughs> We start our next leg of our journey by first driving through some very treacherous roads to Blenheim, a small little town on the top of the South Island, where we met with, I must say, some really top-notch Indian food. Actually, if you want to go there, have the biryani. I must seem rated at 10 out of 10, so I recommend it. But we only just stay there for the Indian food. Once our bellies were full, we hit the road again uh, to go on another long journey, about a 20 minutes drive up the South Island to a place called Havelock to continue our journey. Once we reached Havelock, we unpacked and we quickly began our search, looking high and looking low for these elusive creatures. But it was to no avail. There was literally nothing. But at least the place looked really nice. <laughs> In our search and have a lock, we decided to go down further south, hitting the roads, searching coastlines, trying to find this mysterious beast. So we traveled all the way down to a city called Christchurch, where we continued our exploration. Once in Christchurch, we decided the best place to start searching is the central city, gardens and museums. Thank you. 
with our search in Christchurch bringing back no results, we decided the only thing that we could do right now is have a barbecue. We had some delicious meat after burning that meat and enjoying it that night, we set off again in the opposite direction uh, to a place called Kaikura, where we had been tipped off that this may be the place of these llamas. Again, we landed in Kaikura and we looked around, searching for these llamas, hoping to stumble across, until this very moment. We had done it. We had achieved our goal of finding these mysterious elusive beasts. And during this three and a half hour trek, we formed bonds that were unbreakable for the rest of our lives. We learned so much from these llamas, we take back their knowledge, strength, actually we don't get any of that, but we will miss our llamas. But we know their teachings will always be with us. And with that, as we set it off back into the sunset, the mood was uplifted. Everyone looking forward to a very bright future. Optimism was high. And for anyone out there who's feeling a bit low, maybe you need to find your missing llama as well. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching and as always I will one and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>